This video is sponsored by Thea Study, the largest native AI study platform in the world. Check out Thea Study with the link in the description. All right, guys, Luke here from 2029C, and I'm joined by Ezra from 7686A. And today we're going to be looking at the finals match of the WRC competition in China. And once again, in this competition, we have a uh, well-known team now, 18522R, competing on the Red Alliance. And Bulan's does take auto here. There's a lot of mm -hmm, there's a lot of small things that I noticed that uh, Blue Alliance here did that ended up making them win against uh, this Red Alliance here, which I think 185C2R might be currently the best team in China or at least one of the top teams in China, right? And Blue Alliance being able to beat them here in finals just shows how unpredictable this game could be. And one thing that I noticed already with the auto is just them taking control of that third goal and putting it very far away from red. So as the match yeah. starts, they're able to you know, grab onto those goals and fill them really quickly. Of course, both Alliance here have really good, excellent well, uh, remax and 1F522R is already have has an entirely full goal. They did, however, had a problem in their auto where they scored that blue green though. Yeah, yeah, completely. And then um, by bringing it into the positive corner, that's also another additional point. And then going back to that, when you said earlier, the fact that 18522R dominates China, but like the amount of upsets we've seen of 16 and one, right? Like in matches so far this year, um, just all over in US and China, et cetera. Like this game truly is such a skill-based game. Um, you can have a phenomenal robot and you can perform well all day, but these critical little decisions, right? Like completely completely decide the matches yeah there's two or three points here in this match that really ch changed the tides of the match so one was here towards the beginning of the match where towards the start whenever blue actually had control of this third goal here as you can see they popped their dwenker mech here and scooped the corner which of course everyone should be adding that mech it's super super good and yeah okay. as as red here, as 2-2-R here goes for that defense, they yeah, don't. Apply. They give up pretty soon, and blue actually just has uncontested control over those three three goals, which they really use to their advantage. You know, I wonder if they would have gone back and dropped their goal in the corner, and then gone and get that third goal, right? Like that could have been a completely match affecting play right there. Right? Yeah, I mean, they mm -hmm. had red is already like quite a bit down towards the start of the match with the auto, so I think, I mean, 2-2-R here should be playing a little bit more aggressively using their just better handling and control of the robot their driver skill to dominate and try to steal that goal over instead of playing these wall stakes even though they play wall stakes well here the blue alliance could still fairly well could match up to their wall stake play and yeah. you can see that ended up blue here ended up controlling one of the top rings and red ended up controlling one of the top rings so mm -hmm. in turn red really didn't have a big advantage over these wall stakes even though they were so dominant in other previous competitions here yeah, in matches they'll like people will be attempting to score on the wall stakes, right? And they'll just easily pop out of the positive corner, completely get them out of there. But both teams have been making mistakes on the wall stakes too, right? Not like driving wise, but with their mechanisms. Well, like, I mean, there there is some driving wise, but just it's just like not lining up properly. But here is one of the other big mistakes that I saw with one eight five two two R this match. Of course, they know that they were kind of down right now, so they had to take a big risk into trying to fill this up fully. But as Blue saw this, they took big advantage of that and filled it up, and was able to stop Red from filling one more up to gain control of that top ring at the very last second. Yeah, yeah, yeah and that would in turn, I mean, in turn, Red loss here uh, that on that wall stake. Got a little bit overconfident on their wall stake play. It was, I mean, it is probably the best in China and maybe even worldwide, but they yeah. disregarded that other aspects of the game also are huge in uh, the season, especially that control of the third goal. And also even considering that Blue here had opportunities where, you know, Red could have de-scored. I feel like, honestly, I don't know how... Uh, how viable this is, but you see their how their uh, wall stake back here is a... Is an, is a motorized arm, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it was if it would have been easy for them to literally just you know drop that goal for like two seconds and flip this goal over. Hmm. I feel like if they did that, this match could have been a red victory. If they flipped uh, right here when they're coming yeah. to play defense, right, right here when they're uh, when Blue's like in this corner, Red would right uh, at this moment drop their goal and then use their arm because they have a really really fast and effective motorized arm they would just flip this goal over and it is 
There's no rings on it right now, but it doesn't really matter because, I mean, if their plan is to play those wall stakes and not really worry about the 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 the, yeah, the third goal right they wouldn't the i think the best case scenario was would be to not worry about that third goal at all and just having it be tipped over and in a corner somewhere where no alliance can act acute could uh contest for it right and then then they would use their wall stake to their most advantage and you know really get that uh differential that they were down before back up would have that been enough to win the match i'm not sure but i think i think I think yes. I think with better wall stake play and uh, flipping that goal there, I think they could have taken this match. Yeah, if they would have flipped that um, goal and then they would have uh, not left the wall stake at the end of that match, I think they would have won. Yeah, and that really just shows that, I mean, there's so much strategy that goes into this match and or so, this game. And I mean, even if you're down, this match, this game does feel really hard to come back from an auto... Uh, loss but it definitely is possible and i think even though they weren't able to pull it, pull it off here there was still a really po a good possibility that a team could pull that off yeah completely because that's all you need is control of both wall stakes so at 10 seconds if you have one robot go to one wall stake and one to the other you get um you know quick last minute plays on the wall stakes and then you hang like that's 12 points right there yeah right? so mm-hmm so I think the takeaway here is really just, I mean, if you have your strategy that is honed in on the wall stakes, you should definitely try to not worry about the goals that much. And I mean, a way to minimize the possibilities of you losing from, you know, something unexpected like that third goal would, well, that wasn't really unexpected. That was expected, but to minimize mm -hmm. the effects of that, of your opponents having that third goal is just to, you know, eliminate that third goal from the match and just to tip it, right? Mm -hmm. yeah yeah i would like to see you no know, strategies like that being implemented but that's kind of just my take on this match yeah well anyways, thank you for thank you for joining me yeah of course thank you